Welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin, where today I'm going to be talking to you about Amish quilts. But before I discuss that topic, if you notice the quilt on my design wall behind me, this is an example of curved piecing. And if you're interested in this quilt, I have another video below entitled Curved Piecing with this quilt as the thumbnail. So you can figure out where to get that pattern and how to go about making it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Amish quilts like this one. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Amish quilts are known for taking either black or navy as the background and then mixing it with other colors. I started this quilt, I'm embarrassed to say, I've had it for probably 25 years, honestly, and I still haven't finished it. It's a miniature wall hanging, but even though that sounds easy, it actually has been exceptionally time consuming. So the name of this pattern is sometimes referred to as sunshine and shadows. And that's because it uses black with every color under the sun, yellow, mauve, purple, pink, blue. So these particular little blocks are two and a half inches big when you sew them together. You're going to take four of these and sew them together to make one complete block like so. All right. So, um, I, like I said, I've been working on this for years. It, it is uh, all triangles. I'm going to show you my completed project or what I have done so far. It's not completed, but you get the idea. So this is it. Okay. So we have every color under the sun. I love the dramatic background of the black. It's just been very tedious sewing all these two and a half inch blocks together. And then the completed project will be the wall hanging. And then you, um, if you so desire, you can leave it plain or you could add the hand applique roses in the corners. Okay, if you are interested in this pattern, it's called my Amish Rose Garden. Last time I checked, it was on eBay. It is very, very expensive because now it's obsolete. And so the only reason it's expensive is because it's basically old. So again, this is the, what, what you will get. Um, this was a kit, but you could easily make this at home with black and any other color you choose. So I'm actually not sewing today. I just wanted to talk to you about Amish quilts. I've made several Amish minis back in the 90s that I no longer have because I gave them away as gifts. But I might do some videos on how to make the Amish bars. Um, the, what's it called? I think it's called Hole in the Barn Door. That sort of thing. And so check back for future videos. Thank you.